step, how important is, is the, the depth of this team? Yeah, I mean, that's great for every single one of us, just knowing that we have a really deep roster and everybody that comes off the bench and plays is just as good as the starters. And everybody is just confident enough to know that we have each other's backs and whatever we need. Um, somebody's having a bad game, somebody else will step up and we just all have each other's backs. When you heard Bridgeport and you know this you've had fan base, and like you said, it's not going to be in you know, a bubble this year. It's going to be the UConn fan base following you guys. What does that mean to this to this team to be able to play these kind of games in front of this? Well, I think just the first game being a gamble, we didn't get a whole lot of gamble games this season. So I'm not, we're not looking ahead to Bridgeport and we're not looking too far ahead. We're just looking at our first opponent in Mercer. So, I mean, that being a gamble would be a lot of fun. Hey, you talked about you, you, accepting what you are this year. Like, what, what what are you at this point, you know, compared to what you've been? I mean, you've been able to do so many things on the court. Where, where are you? Try to explain that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I just am not as comfortable, or when I was first coming back, comfortable making the same moves or making the same reads and making the same cuts or movements that I did before um, my knee surgery. So just being able to be more confident in what I'm doing I mean, my strength is there, my healing is there, so just being able to be confident enough to use it again is amazing for me. Would you I think that, no, I don't care. Um, whatever this team needs to be off the bench, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, um, I'm excited with whatever role. All right, we're going to think outside the box for a moment. If you could be a national champion in anything normal, your any everyday activity, what do you think you'd win a national title? I don't know. That's a really good question. It's not a good question, but it's a thinker. <laughs> it is. I think my, my, my biggest regret growing up is not playing like like football. Um, so I think that I could be a championship like football. <laughs> a, a great team, obviously. Is that because AZ played? Did you get <laughs> No, AZ definitely, AZ played, and that kind of like made me open my eyes a little bit, but I missed. So yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, you, you did the moonwalk during a timeout recently. You've done a lot of little dance moves on, on the sideline. How important is it for you to be having fun again out there uh, after your injury and everything? And how much fun are you having? I'm having back? a lot of fun. I mean, I think especially with being out and being injured and not being able to play the game you love, um, you got to find different ways to stay positive, different ways to be happy. And I love this team and I love everything about them. So just being able to celebrate them and have fun with them. Did you you called Caroline a silent assassin uh, before the season started? What what did you see from her like right from when she got here that that made you know that she could ha have this impact on the team? Caroline's not afraid of anything. She's not afraid of anybody, any moment, um, and she just has a really great mentality about basketball. And I think earlier in the season when she, I mean, in the Bahamas, she didn't really play a lot, and then people got injured, and she got her opportunity. She ran with it, and so. We all knew what she was capable of, and we were really happy for her, really excited for her. Um, and I think it was easy to be able to get negative and down on herself um, when she wasn't playing as much as first. But I mean, Caroline being Caroline, she stepped up in the moment. Like when, when she won the DePaul game at the buzzer, kind of, you, you weren't surprised? Not at all. I mean, Caroline's <laughs> born for those moments. So coming into the season, everybody expected you guys to be in the Final Four, national championship contender, and then you went through so much. Where are you guys right now? I mean, do you believe that this team can make a, a great run or win the national championship? Yeah, I think, I mean, we're all confident. Um, we're not really worried about anybody else's expectations or any pressures from the outside and what they view us as. I think we're just all worried about ourselves and being the best team we can be, the best individuals we can be, and hopefully making a run for the NCAA title this year. And how good are you right now? I, I, we're good. We still have things we can get better at in practice. Um, but like I said, I think we're pretty confident. Speaking of having fun, what do you think about Nika's uh, chest bump celebrations that she started this year? <laughs> chest bumps are great. I think it's become our new signature, so that's always fun. <laughs> Why is it so important for you to stay engaged with fans? I see you all the time mugging for pictures with little girls or signing autographs, even when you're down and out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was in their shoes when I was younger. I, I had players that I looked up to in high school and Obviously, with the Minnesota Lynx being super successful, I looked up to those guys as well, Maya, Lindsay, and that whole team and those, the whole championship runs that they went on. So just knowing that I was a little girl in their shoes and the, the older players uh, that I looked up to were nice nice to me. They took pictures with me, and they just 
were super nice to me, and so I just want to be a great, great role model like them. Is there any extra motivation to get to the final four because it is in Minneapolis, or is that just like an I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make it to the final four every year, so but it being in Minneapolis. Um, it would obviously be pretty awesome just for it to be at home, but I think we're just taking it one game at a time. Final Four is a goal of ours every year. Do you remember the first time you saw the opera at the high school? No, I do remember it was in high school, though. Um, after games, and then my senior year became more popular for fans and little kids to stay after, but first autograph, I don't really recall.